Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel once again today. Today, I want to talk a few minutes about sunburn. Sunburn, it happens in people who are exposed to the sun or to ultraviolet light in tanning booths. Now, a few words about ultraviolet light. Sun produced ultraviolet light is divided into two types of rays, ultraviolet A type and ultraviolet light B type. The dangerous rays are in ultraviolet light B type. So sunburns are basically the first degree or superficial partial thickness burns. That's why they form blisters in in some patients. Now the changes happen between 12 to 24 hours after exposure and many many patients usually go to the emergency department because this is a very painful condition. So the pain is intense that's that's what which takes them to the emergency room and occasionally patients might need fluid resuscitation or even parenteral analgesics for pain control. So when you ask them history you should ask about exposure to any sun or exposure to ultraviolet light in tanning booths and in physical examination you should look for erythema and blisters. Now treatment Sunburn can be very difficult to treat in some patients, but in all patients the treatment starts with saline soak dressings or cold compressions. Calamine lotion gives relief to some patients. And also we use ibuprofen or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents because the mechanism is the production of prostaglandins that causes pain in sunburned skin and enzymes they block the production of prostaglandins. Now some doctors even advise things like uh, I mean uh, Steroids should be avoided because um, oral corticosteroids or topical corticosteroids have not been shown to significantly improve but in severe cases some doctors use even steroids. So patients with a sunburn are treated in those manner. Now disposition almost all patients you can treat as an outpatient but patients who develop large blisters you should check them again in two to three days because some of them develop severe infection. Now a few words about sunscreens. Sunscreens of at least skin protection factor 15 we say SPF skin protection factor 15 should be used in these patients. So you should advise people to use at least SPF 15. The other thing is most of these sunscreens they contain paramino benzoic acid, the PABA. And the point is patients who are sensitive to thiazide diuretics, they sh may adversely react to PABA. That's an important point. Patients who are sensitive or allergic to thiazide diuretics, they react adversely to paraaminobenzoic acid, PABA. And the other point is you should educate these patients about sunburns. And you should also educate them about tanning. There is no fun with tanning. Tanning increases the risk of skin cancer and 
it also gives you a very very aged appearance even in young ages so basically that's about sunburn it's a, a painful condition most commonly first degree or superficial partial thickness burns with blisters it happens like 12 to 24 hours after exposure and treatment is cold compressions and in painful conditions steroids and non steroidal anti inflammatory agents and the education wise the most important point is spf 15 sunscreen should be used and patients who are allergic to thiazide diuretics they adversely react to sunscreens containing paraamino benzoic acid so you should avoid them in if the patient says they are allergic to thiazide diuretics like uh, hydrochlorothiazide that's about sunburn thank you very much please feel free to send me your comments or uh,